What you doing? I am super gluing some Velcro onto your shoes. So the topos don't have a means for the gaiters to attach, like they attach up top. Um, I'll show you a video in a second. Um, but the gaiters came with like a little Velcro patch that you can glue onto the back of any shoe so that the gaiters work for any shoe. And Bird Call is doing that for me. Day 86. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? This has been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been over three months that we've been on trail, including Arizona. Crazy. So the plan today is to do 20 miles. There's a nice campground. Um, I forget the name of it. Um, somewhere and Bougie and um, Roadrunner all need to go into Sierra City. I think Bougie and Roadrunner for a burger. <laughs> um, but somewhere has to go get fuel. So they're taking a little side trip. It shouldn't be too far. I, I don't think it's very many miles off trail, but they're going to take a little side trip to Sierra City. So they pretty much already took off. Um, and Bird Call and I have plenty of food, so we ain't going nowhere. Oh, I'm getting swarmed by ants. Um, so just sitting down here having some breakfast. Oh, this is exciting. So I've got peanut butter tortillas. And then I have these honey sticks that I got from um, a trail angel. And uh, so I'm going to put these on our breakfast tortillas. I'm excited about that. And um, I got to go because I got ants all over me. All right, it's 8.30 and we rolling. We have a uh, downhill all the way to Sierra City. And then we have... A big uphill, I think it's about eight miles, with uh, 3,000 feet elevation gain. So maybe not too bad, but we'll see. And then once we get to the top of that, it's basically downhill again to the campsite. So a little down, a little up, a little back down, and we there. And uh, feeling good? You feeling good, Toots? Yep, feeling good. Yeah. So the weather is nice and cool right now. The sun's coming out today though. Um, packs are feeling a little bit lighter. Anything else do I have to report? How's your um, blisters and stuff feel? Blisters are all right. Getting better, got them all wrapped up. And were you able to write in your journal last night? Oh yeah, wrote my journal every night. Um, yep. getting our water, collecting our like liquid liquids. <laughs> um, they haven't gone very far, but that's this is our first water stop of the day. And um, got some blisters, but we yay okay. That's all. Yeah. Man.
Oh yeah? Let me go first. There's cars right there. But no trail magic. That's okay. <laughs> we don't need magic. We good. I made my own magic. Yep. This whole trail is magic. Well, we just passed the roadway that would have led, led into uh, Sierra City. And now we're hiking eight miles uphill out of the valley, I guess, of Sierra City. It's not too bad right now. Just a bunch of switchbacks. We are stopping for our lunch break and Bird Call said this pipe over here was so nice. So I'm about to wash my face, try to get my head wet. That was so nice. That was more refreshing than anything else I could have asked for. Okay, I just finished lunch and it is um, 1.45. We have 10 miles left for today, and we have about uh, six miles uphill, and then the rest downhill. And uh, we're staying in an actual campground. I'm not sure exactly what that means, except for they pot potentially have pit toilets and a place to dump our trash, which is its own kind of specialness when you don't have to carry your, all your trash with you. And Bird calls tired. He says he needs a new shirt. He just went off on a tangent about how he needs a whole new shirt and he look needs whole shirt. new, whole new trekking, uh, hiking clothes. I look like a hobo. He's just feeling it today. Got lots of feels. Look at this. Look at that. I told him he needs to just. Look at this. Okay, look how, we'll get you a new dirty shirt. Dirty and grimy. My shirt's just as dirty as yours, but I think you chose the wrong color. Let's show show him your shirt. Let's let's let them decide relatively clean almost no stains Ta -da! maybe i'm just cleaner yeah. than you because i'm a girl and then my shirt completely filthy stains all over everything messed up that's because you're a stinky boy boys need more shirts apparently so Look, we just hit 1,200, where that? 1,200 miles. Look at that. Boom. 1,200 miles. <laughs> How do you feel, Tetsy? Oh, I feel much better now. Mm. Look, people. 1,200 miles. That was easy. Easy, buddy. Right? <laughs> Look who we found! Hey, Yay! Hi. It's the What's nephew, up? Raven! Hi, you have here. <laughs> Nice to hear you made it. And we probably hiked like two and a half miles that day. Okay, for all you don't know, um, I talked about this a couple weeks ago, but um, that was Braven, 
and he's our nephew and he is basically he's been on trail for um a few weeks now we've been kind of playing hop uh hop hopscotch hopper hop over leapfrog kind of sort of um so he started some miles ahead of us and we've been kind of chasing him and we've been trying to meet up and stuff so uh i got a garmin message from him about a couple hours ago and we realized that he wasn't too far ahead of us so he was stopped and waiting for us at the top of the ridge and totally surprised bird call and i and that was so sweet and i guess now he's probably coming to canada with us The boys are talking gear talk. Are probably like too much now. Really? Yeah, like they were really nice through the Okay, it is 5 p.m. and we're about one mile from uh saddle campground, something saddle campground. I forget what the first thing is. Anyways, we did uh 20 miles today, which is strange because that now has become like a marker for like less mileage, like a 20 mile day is quote unquote an easier day, okay? Uh, dogs are still barking, but uh, don't feel too bad because we had a nice lazy start this morning, a nice easy lunch. And um, now we got, the, we got the Brave Stir back there. So I'm sure tomorrow's gonna even go by even nicer with us just chatting away. Um, Roadrunner, Bougie, and Somewhere have got to be somewhere behind us, but I imagine they're probably a few hours behind us because um, they went in and did all their stuff in Sierra City. But um, I'm excited. There's supposed to be a picnic table and there's supposed to be a pump faucet, which we've heard you don't have to filter the water, so that's exciting. It's always nice when you have one less chore you got to do. Um, and... We, let's see what else. What else do I have to report? Oh, I hope that the mosquitoes aren't too bad and that, uh, I just lost the boys back there for a second. Hope the mosquitoes aren't so bad so that we can actually sit down and enjoy the picnic table. Um, if not, there's bug spray and stuff. And let's see, Bird Call and I did a little bit math on our lunch break and planned out our next couple of weeks because we have a bunch of family waiting for us and, um, uh, in the next couple of hundred miles. So you're we trying to figure out where we were gonna be and everything so we can start planning that. And that is gonna dictate our schedule for the next 16 days, which means we're gonna be pushing hard and doing a lot of Nero's. Well, not a lot. I mean, there's only three more resupplies till we get there. So we're doing some Nero's, um, maybe some Heroes to try to get there so that we can store them all up and take a few days off with the fam. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, now we got the fam with us too, so that's exciting. Yeah. See that? They got to run to catch up to me. <laughs> See that? Hello. Trail score. Found this on the ground. That's how you know you're a through hiker. She picked that up off the ground, y'all. She's gross. <laughs> All right. We got tense people. I'm pretty positive. That's where we're going. Here is the pump spigot. And it's kind of fun. You just go like this. Boop. And out comes the water. See that? Boop. All right, it is dinner time and we eat and stuff. Let's see. Oh, okay. Hello. Raven, what's your trail name again? Uh, Bandit. Nice. And what do you got for dinner? I have green beans and mashed potatoes and sausage and hot pepper ketchup. You're well in line with bougie there. You're real close. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you're going to have to top that. What's for dinner for us? Um, broccoli Krispies. Nice. And rice with olive oil in it. Boy, it's that sounds just, really boring compared to the It's not just plain head. olive oil, it's garlic olive oil. Woo -woo! Ooh. And it's I believe. Oh, oh, look who it is! Hey! Oh. hey. And they're eating mashed potatoes and tortillas with mm. peanuts.
Okay. Roadrunner brought us a treat from town. There was a hot chocolate. Like a breakfast called Hungry Hiker. <laughs> so uh, cute and sweet. sweet. Yeah, just eating. Now we're doing hot chocolate. Oh. Water boiling. <laughs> Bougie just no, running up that. here. <laughs> you're almost there. Keep coming. Don't that. stop now. <laughs> you're How's it going? Hey, yo. Hi. Come on, Skippity Duda. I was timing myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come I was timing myself. You made it. You're Time alive. Timing a mile or? Uh, where have you been? Um, I took a phone call at the top of the mountain. Oh, oh. Then... Forgot to document the feet washing. <laughs> <laughs> Are your feet clean now? Oh, Are yeah. yours clean? Okay, good. Mine no, actually, it was more the legs. My oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It was the leg washing. I did Bougie some leg washing. still washing. But Bougie's feet are... Nasty. Get a shot of Bougie's feet. He loves showing people his feet. <laughs> That's rude. All right. That's Look at rude. his feet. I'm gonna zoom in right now. Look, they are. They're nice and clean right they're now. Look at how clean those are. Out feet finder, you know. <laughs> well, again, we are done for the day. Just like that. Did 20 miles. Met up with the nephew. And now we're doing some blister care.